Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will learn how to subtract three digit numbers with borrowing. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this video. We will learn borrowing from tens place, borrowing from hundreds place, and borrowing from both tens and hundreds place. So let's start and first revise subtraction of three digit numbers without borrowing. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Question is, subtract 245 from 768. To subtract these numbers, write them in column form. First, subtract the digits at 1's place. 8 minus 5 equals to 3. Next, subtract the digits at 10's place. 6 minus 4 equals to 2. And next, subtract the digits at 100's place. 7 minus 2 equals to 5. So our answer is 523. So students, this is how we do subtraction of three digit numbers without borrowing. Now let's learn subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing from tens place. Question is, subtract 315 from 472. To subtract these numbers, let's write them in columns. First, subtract the digits at 1's place. But 5 is a bigger number than 2. So 5 cannot be subtracted from 2. So we will borrow 1 from 7. Therefore, 7 becomes 6 and 2 becomes 12. Now, let's subtract digits at 1's place. 12 minus 5 equals to 7. Subtract the digits at 10's place. 6 minus 1 equals to 5. And next, let's subtract the digits at hundreds place. 4 minus 3 equals to 1. So we get the answer as 157. So students, this is how we do subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing at tens place. Now let's learn subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing from Hundreds place. Question is, subtract 595 from 979. Again, to subtract these three digit numbers, we will first write them in column form. Now, let's subtract the digits at one's place. 9 minus 5 equals to 4. Now let's move and subtract the digits at tens place. 9 is a bigger number than 7. So 9 cannot be subtracted from 7. So we will borrow 1 from 9. Therefore, 9 becomes 8 and 7 becomes 17. Now we can subtract the digits at tens place. 17 minus 9 equals to 8. And next, subtract the digits at hundreds place. 8 minus 5 equals to 3. So we get the answer as 384. So students, this is how we do subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing from 
hundreds place. Now let's learn subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing from both hundreds and tens place. Question is subtract 287 from 643. Let's write the numbers in columns. Let's subtract the digits at one's place. But 7 is a bigger number than 3. So 7 cannot be subtracted from 3. So we will borrow 1 from 4. Therefore, 4 becomes 3 and 3 becomes 13. Now we can subtract 7 from 13 and we get 6. Now let's subtract the digits at tens place. But again, 8 is a bigger number than 3. So 8 cannot be subtracted from 3. So again, we will borrow, but this time we will borrow from hundreds place, which is 6. So 6 becomes 5 and 3 becomes 13. Now we can subtract 8 from 13 and we get 5. Now let's subtract the digits at hundreds place. 5 minus 2 equals to 3. So our answer is 356. Now students, let's do one more example to understand this. Question is, subtract 682 from 980. Let's first write these numbers in columns. Now let's subtract the digits at one's place. But 2 is a bigger number than 0. So 2 cannot be subtracted from 0. So we will borrow 1 from 10's place, which is 8. So 8 becomes 7 and 0 becomes 10. Now let's do the subtraction. 10 minus 2 equals to 8. Now let's subtract the digits at 10's place. But 8 is a bigger number than 7. So 8 cannot be subtracted from 7. So let's borrow. We will borrow from 100's place. So 9 becomes 8 and 7 becomes 17. Now we can easily subtract 8 from 17. And we get 9. In the end, let's subtract the digits at 100's place. 8 minus 6 equals to 2. So we get the answer as 298. So students, now I am sure you have understood how to do subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing. We have got many amazing worksheets and interesting quizzes on maths for class 3 on our channel Learning Notebook. So do visit our channel. Thanks for watching.